vast, it's infinite, but it's not aware of itself. Okay? This is that sitting with you. Can you are you can you accept that? Can you just handle it for now? I want to make sure we're on the same page with each other. You don't have to agree with me. But I just want you to pay attention to this and see if it's sinking in for you. Pure consciousness, pure power, vastness, but not aware of itself. It simply is. And what happens is we are, we are that. We're this pure potential vastness power of the being. It's like ocean and this, the ocean is completely flat. It's vast ocean, beautiful blue turquoise, but silky smooth ocean and there are no waves on it nothing so then comes a wave a wave arises and then another wave arises so there's movement starts to happen in this ocean and it's like the ocean is awakening so it's creating these waves so we are like these waves are we are the ocean but then when the wave starts to move all of a sudden somebody is being born you see a person being born so that's one wave and then there's another wave and there's multiple waves are happening and what happens is these waves they create an illusion of separation they create it's an optical illusion so it appears that there are different people like and there's different objects so you see millions of different objects for example you're looking at like here is a glass of water so it's that and here is like a remote control so all of these things here is like for example a business card these objects these objects they're simply images they're they're all of them are these waves that they come from the ocean Each movement of the ocean creates a wave. So each movement of consciousness creates a human being, creates an object. But all of it, all of these objects, all of these human beings, all of these different things, the mountains, the forest, uh, the cars, airplanes, the buildings, they're all consciousness. All of them are made out of consciousness. Again, I'm going to use the ocean analogy. Ocean starts to create these waves. So these waves they look big, strong, they go up, they come down. And there's thousands of waves happening all the time. The ocean is sometimes could be very rocky. It could be stormy. So it creates all these movements. Same thing is happening here. Consciousness at rest 
is what you experience when you go in a deep meditation and there is no brain activities and you go into pure silence and you lose the sense of yourself as a separate person, as a separate entity and you become one with all. That means in that moment you are the flat ocean. You're just the ocean. But then your mind comes and you start thinking, you start sensing your body and then comes this sense of separation, this sense of duality. It comes with it. It's a package. But since in your very origin you're not separated from any of it it's only in in the imagery that it seems like it's separated but it's in the it's in own essence there's no separation it's all itself it's all one entity appearing you know it's like my right hand comes and does this thing and then my left hand comes and does this. So they're dancing with each other. They're playing with each other. But both of them are a part of the body. They're not separated from the body. These both hands and arms are a part of the same person. So the same thing here in your situation. When you go in a very deep state of meditation, you reach samadhi, you become one with God, you become one with the Spirit, which you always are one with it, but you're just pure awareness. It's just awareness. It's not aware of itself. It's just is. So that's why when you go into this place deep inside, during that period of time that you're into the deep meditation, you can't say, oh my God, I'm one with God, because there is no you. The sense of you as a separate entity is not there. So it's only the oneness. Same thing when you sleep and you're not dreaming, you go into this place and it's only the oneness. Because when you sleep and you're not dreaming, you're not aware of your body. Let's say you're, lying, you're sleeping with your partner, your sweetheart is in your arms. You're not aware of your sweetheart. Let's say you have a newborn baby and the baby is in his creep and uh, is in the room. The baby disappears. Your home disappears. Everything disappears. There's nothing there. Because you have disappeared. You have disappeared into the oneness. There's no sense of you being separated. That sense is not there. So you are one. So you're in this place of awareness. It's in this pure way, pure essence. But then when the mind activities come back and you come out of so-called that deep state of meditation, you you reemerge from the vastness of the being 